<sighs> I am so bored. No, BUM. This is bored. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Cal, but uh, where'd you get that board from? Some things are worth not asking, baby lamb. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I guess. I just wish we could go out somewhere, you know, just see the nice town and all. But why can't we? Oh yeah, never mind. What can we do? Hey, Cal. Yeah? Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear chuffing and puffing. And a whistle. That whistle sounds strangely familiar. Better go see who it is. <laughs> Could it be? Thomas the Tank Engine? Hello, baby lamb and cow. It's so good to see you again. Wow. What a pleasant surprise! We haven't seen you since... Um... I can't remember the last time we saw you. But what brings you to Capital City? Oh, uh, you know, I was just traveling the world, and I thought I'd stop by and see you two. And plus I'm celebrating my birthday. Wow! Happy birthday, Thomas! For real? It's your birthday? How old are you? 75. 75?! How... Wow, you don't even look or sound that old. Yeah, engines like me don't age very well. Well, I'm just really happy to see you again, Thomas. And it's great that you're finally seeing the world and all. Yep, I always enjoy seeing the world and meeting new people along the way. But it's more wonderful being on Sodor. Well, I must go now. I've got more sights to see. See you next time. Happy birthday! Wow. It would be awesome if I was a train like Thomas. I wouldn't have to worry about aging or getting sick or staying at home. I could just be free to travel wherever I want to go. I would have a lot more freedom if I was a living vehicle. <laughs> you sure be um, because uh, I think I'm not sure vehicles have more freedom than humans. Sure they do, especially if you're a talking one. Uh, but I guess it's just a dream that will never come true. Come on, let's just go somewhere. Be love, be love. Are you okay? Be love. Uh, uh, uh. What the? <gasps> what the? Am I a train now? Woohoo! I mean a choo choo. <laughs> I need to show Cal this. This is so cool. Wake up! <laughs> no, I don't like hamburgers! <laughs> huh? Baby Lamb? Is that really you? Yeah, it's me! Can you believe it? I am a train now! Whoa! Oh my goodness! That's that's awesome, dude! Yeah, but I wonder what's with Big Bird though? Like. Hmm. No idea. <laughs> Oh, baby lamb, it's so good to see you, laddie. Oh, hey, Lenny. Boy, look at that. You're a train now. That's very wonderful. Thanks, Lenny. Uh, well, baby lamb, I'm so glad you're here. It's an emergency, because I have to go to the Great Shamrock Convention in Town Square, but I don't have a ride. Do you think maybe you could take me there? Oh, sure. Just hop on board. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver, laddie. Okay, I took Lane to the Great Shamrock Convention at the Civic Center. Now I can do what I always wanted to do as a train. Travel all around the town. Just be free. Uh, oh, hey, baby lamb. Whoa, you're a train. Hey, Marshall. Uh, so what's up? Oh, well, you see, I lost my hat and I'm trying to get a new one. Well, not just for me, but uh, also for uh, my pet bullfrog. His name's uh, Cosmo. His name's Cosmo? Yep, named it that because he's green. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty clever, but uh, sure, does it have to be now? Yeah, it has to be now. It's an emergency. I don't uh, want people to know that I'm bald. Oh, okay. Well, I guess hop on board. All right, come on, Cosmo. We're going to go on a train ride. <sighs> okay. Oh, 
Hey, Bill. Um, oh, hey, Bill. Hey, Majax. Wow, you're a train. I know. Uh, so, what are you guys up to? Oh, we were just about to head to the garage. It was like a special garage party. It's not not for any occasion. We just want we just like parties. You want to come with? Sure. All right, get inside. Wow, that's awesome. What's a? I can't even fit to the freaking garage. Okay, if there aren't any more interruptions, I would really love to travel around the town. Uh, oh, hey, b -Lam. Whoa, you're a train now. Oh, hey, Rover. Uh, Listen, I'm very glad that you're a train because I got a big favor to ask you. What is it? Alright, so I'm just gonna, gonna cut straight to the chase, alright? Straight to the chase. Okay, so basically, my race car broke down and it had to repair. And I was supposed to meet over to the racetrack because I got a race to get to, and my car is over there. The problem is I don't have any other car because the car that broke down is the only car I ever have. So basically, what I'm trying to say is I really need a ride from you. So if you could just get me straight to the racetrack like really fast, then that would be awesome. <sighs> Can't you just ask someone else to do it? No, because basically you're the one with the face, so obviously you wouldn't say no. <sighs> all right, get on. All right, please make this quick. All right, cause, like just about as fast as me. But, you know, I'm better, so, yeah. Alright. Is that really how fast you can go? Sorry, I think I used up most of my energy. Oh, oh my goodness. I never realized the life of a train could be so complicated. If only Thomas was here. But... Oh, uh... Hey, Thomas! Hi, Baby Lamb. I see you're an engine yourself. Now, that is amazing. Thank yeah, yeah, that's me, Baby Lamb the Tank Engine. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, Thomas, how do you do it? What do you mean? How are you so used to having so much responsibilities, and yet you never seem to get tired? I mean, I've only been an engine for like a few hours today, and already I'm pooped. I mean, I thought being being a train could be much easier than being a, like, a lamb or, or an, a person or something, but I guess I was wrong. I really should have never taken myself for granted. <sighs> being a train is just not for me. Yeah, I know how you feel. I used to be ashamed of how I was and how I wanted to be something else, too. But a very good friend of mine told me to just be who I am. You should embrace who you are. You are what you meant to be, and that's what matters. You know what, Thomas? You're right. Being a tank engine may be perfect for you, but I'm just perfect being a lamb. I mean, I'm not called baby lamb for nothing. Well, I mean, except for the baby part, but you know what I'm saying. I'm glad to hear. I hope all goes well for you. I believe in you. I really wish I was a lamb again. I just want to be me. <sighs> Where am I? What happened? Cal told us you hit your head pretty hard. And you were unconscious for like hours. Yep. None of us knew CPR, but we didn't bother doing it because we figured we weren't going to die. So, what happened, baby lamb? Well, I just had this strangest dream. Like, I was literally a train. And I was doing a lot of stuff for other people. And you know, it's really fun to do stuff for other people. But honestly, I'm just not meant to be a train. I'm happy being the way I am. I mean, Thomas is a tank engine and that's how he's always going to be. I'm a baby lamb and that's how I'm going to be. But you know, there is one thing I never really understood though. The whole time I was a train, Big Bird was there. And he had that fancy hat and all. So... What was that about? Well, I'm guessing Big Bird was like the conductor or something. He was, he was uh, controlling you, making sure that you move. Why? Because trains never operate by themselves, Baby Lamb. They always have to have people making sure that they work, you know, making sure they move and all. 
Are you telling me that, that Thomas doesn't actually move by himself? Nope. Thomas has to have someone inside him in order for him to work and move. So you mean Thomas is pregnant? Well, whatever the case may be, I'm better off riding the train than I am being one.